In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use background gradients to make eye-catching designs for your full width header modules within Divi. The full width header module in Divi makes it really easy to build dynamic header sections for your website without having to add multiple modules for each component. With the full width header module, you can add and customize the look of your text, images, backgrounds, spacing, and more. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start by using a pre-made layout from the Divi library. I'm gonna be using the food recipes layout pack and there's links in the description if you want to download this yourself for free. And I'm going to be starting with the food recipes homepage. So I'm going to use this layout and you can see this page already has a nice header section here. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to recreate the design up here using the full width header module. So we're going to insert a section and we're going to use a full width section and I'll be using the full width header module. And now we'll start customizing this so that we can recreate that hero section above. So we'll start with the basics. We'll customize under our settings where it has title. We're going to change this to new recipes every day. Button one will be browse recipes and I'll add a second button that'll be download the cookbook. For the body text, I'll just add some lorem ipsum text here just as some filler text. And then I'll go down to background and I'm going to remove this background color here. And then I will add a background image. So I'll go to background image and I'll add the background image that we want. I'll select the image and then I'll upload it. Okay, let's head over to the design tab now. So first I'll edit the title text and I'm going to change the title font and I'll change the font here to this Cormorant Garamond, which is how I think it's pronounced. The title weight, I'm going to change this to bold. For the title text size, I'm gonna increase this to about, let's say 64 pixels. And then for title line height, I'm gonna change this to 1.5 EM. Now let's change the body text. We're gonna change the body font and I'm gonna use the same font that we used before. For the font weight, I'm going to make this medium. For the body text size, I'm going to increase this to 24 pixels. And for the body line height, I'm just going to increase this up to 1.8 EM. Now what I want to do is customize the two buttons that we have. So for button one, let's open up that under the design tab. And what we want to do is change this use custom styles for button one. Instead of no, we'll toggle this to yes. And now we can customize the button however we want. So for the text size, I'm going to drop this down to about 14 pixels. And then I'm gonna change the background here. So let's add a background color and I'm going to make this this nice orange color. And then let's customize the border a bit. So for the border width, I'm gonna change this to about eight pixels. For the border color, I'm gonna change this and I'm going to use the same color that I used above. And then for the border one border radius, I'm gonna change this down to zero pixels. And then we're going to change the font a bit. So instead of the default font, I'm gonna change this. The font weight, I'm gonna make this medium. And then I wanna capitalize this, so I'm gonna click the capitals here. And then where it says show button one icon, I'm gonna change this to no. So I'm pretty happy with the way that button looks. You can see that it looks the same as the button above. And now what I'm going to do is customize the button two. So again, we're gonna use custom styles. Now, since I want the button to look the same as the first button, what we can actually do is take our button one and under here, these three dots, I can actually copy the button one styles. And then under button two, I can take this and I can click the three dots and I can paste the styles. So now you can see that it copied the style from button one right over to our second button. This will get us a nice starting point for our second button. I do wanna change the look a little bit so it doesn't look so bland. So I'm gonna change the button to text color. So I'm gonna change that here. I'm gonna change the button to background as well. And I'll change that here. And then like we did above, I'm gonna use the same border color as the background color so that we can just change this and make the look a little more interesting. So now that our buttons are done, what we're gonna do is open the spacing settings for the top and bottom padding. So click your spacing, and for the top padding, I'm gonna add 10%, and for the bottom padding, I'm also gonna add 10%. And now you can see that our full width header matches about the size of the hero section here. Then all I wanna do is go into the, our advanced settings. I'm gonna add a little bit of custom CSS here. And where it says body, I'm gonna add just a little bit of padding right here, 40%. So now you can see this full width header that we made matches the look and feel of this minus this has the dark background, but here's where we're going to start using some interesting background gradients to change the design of our page. So to do this, we're going to go back to the content tab under background, and here's where we're going to change all our background settings. Now, if you want to use all the exact colors that I'm using today, you can check the blog article that's linked in the description of this video below. It has step-by-step -step instructions on everything I've done and everything I'm going to do, including all of the colors again. So that way you can copy all the colors. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start with a background gradient and we're gonna click add background gradient. And under this 0% stop, I'm gonna add the color that I want. And we're gonna be using this very light kind of teal color here. And then I'm gonna add this stop 
I'm going to drag it down from 100% down to 1%, and I'm going to change its color as well. So now I have a stop at 0% here and a stop at 1%. Where we have gradient type, I'm going to change this to elliptical. Under position, I'm going to change this to bottom right. And then where it says repeat gradient instead of no, I'm going to turn this to yes. And then where it says place gradient above background image, I'm going to turn that on to yes. Now that you can see the gradient we made and it's right over top our image. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I'll save our changes. And then all we have to do is we have to remove this section above here. So for this section above, I'm just going to click the trash can icon to delete the section. And now we have this full width menu module that we made up here. So let's see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and save and publish these changes. Let's exit the visual builder and take a look at that. So now you can see we have our new full width menu module above, and here's the final design. Once you have your full width menu module all set up, you can use those background gradients to make very different powerful background effects to really change the look of your sections. So I'll show you another quick example here of how we can just change our background gradients to make a whole different design. So open up your full width header settings again, go down to your background, and let's remove the gradient we've already made. So we'll add a new background gradient just by clicking add background gradient. I'm going to move this first stop from zero up to about 35 and then we'll change the color here. And then this one, I'm going to drag down to about 56% and I'll change its color here. Then at 90%, I'll add a new stop and I'm going to change its color. Then for gradient type, I'm going to change this from linear down to circular and change it from bottom right to top. And you can see that it has this nice orange glow right here. If we want that to shine through a little more, we can adjust the opacity to how we like it. So let's make that, drop that down a little bit, and same for the opacity on the lighter yellow. And this gives us a nice warm, soft glow across our header. Something else we can do here, since we have this circular design going on, is we can actually round the bottom of this header as well. So if we want to open up our section settings here, go to the design tab, and then go to where it has dividers. We're going to add a divider onto the bottom. And then for divider styles, we're going to go ahead and click this curved divider. And then I'm just going to change the color to white. So let's save that. So now you can see that kind of rounded out the top of our header and it follows along the design that we made for the background gradient. I'll save that real quick. And then we can see how that looks like in the final design. And here it is. Be sure to check out the blog article linked in the description below. It has step-by-step -step instructions of everything I covered today, including the layout pack that I used and a few more examples for you to use as well. Also check out some of the other videos that we have on our YouTube channel, including different tutorials, guides, layout packs, and more. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.